Let's make seared haddock tacos with red cabbage and blood orange slaw. There's also avocado crema, but that made the title unruly. Start by peeling two cloves of garlic. Pick up the tea towel your troublesome cat pulled from the oven handle, retrieve your concentration, and thinly slice those naked cloves of garlic. Transfer them to a large bowl. Don't worry, there's a lot more going in here. Cut a blood orange and a lime in half and set both of them aside. Juice the orange into a measuring cup. We're looking for a good quarter cup of juice here. You'll likely use the whole orange, and yes, you will make a mess. Embrace it. Pour the blood orange juice into the bowl with the garlic. Juice both halves of the lime you sliced earlier. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of honey. Whisk to combine. Add two large haddock fillets to the bowl and toss to coat. Let marinate while you prepare everything else. Peel another clove of garlic. This time we're gonna give it a good mince and set it aside for the time being. I like to get the garlic out of the way first because it's my least favorite thing to chop. Next, thinly slice a quarter of a head of red cabbage. If you want, you can use a mandolin for this, but I went freehand with a chef's knife because I wanted a slightly chunkier slaw. Transfer the cabbage to a bowl and thinly slice a jalapeno and add it to the bowl as well. If you have a low heat tolerance, feel free to give the jalapeno a miss. Now for the fiddly part, we're going to supreme a couple of blood oranges. Cut the skin off of the oranges and carefully cut around the pith and membrane to extract the orange segments. It's a little time consuming and if it's not your thing, slice your orange into bite-sized pieces any way you want. Add the orange to the bowl as well. Place the minced garlic in a small bowl. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of white vinegar, a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of honey. Whisk to combine. Pour the dressing over the cabbage mixture and toss to coat. Transfer the slaw to the fridge and let it sit so everything gets nice and acquainted. Peel one last clove of garlic. No mincing or slicing this time. Pit and peel an avocado before dicing it and setting it aside as well. Cut a lime in half and dig out your blender. Add the garlic clove, the avocado, a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, half a teaspoon of salt, and the juice of half of the lime you sliced earlier. Blitz until very smooth. Transfer the crema to a bowl and chill until ready to serve. Place a large skillet over medium heat. Try to select a larger skillet than this. You'll see why in a moment. Add olive oil to the skillet. Once the oil is shimmering, add one of the haddock fillets. I'm sure you can see why a larger skillet would have been beneficial. Sear the haddock on both sides for about three minutes aside. The fish is done when it readily flakes but does not appear dry. Cook the remaining fillet. Now it's time to build our tacos. Start by flaking the fish and placing two to three chunks in a corn tortilla. Top the fish with a pile of the red cabbage slaw and a dollop of the avocado crema. Repeat with two more tacos and finish each with a fresh sprig of cilantro. And there you go! Seared haddock tacos with red cabbage and blood orange slaw topped with a silky avocado crema. Thank you for following along and cooking with me. I hope you give these tacos a try. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. We post a new recipe every week and a few other goodies along the way. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.